You might have seen already, I have posted two videos before in which I was talking about planning the birthday party on a budget. In the second one, I was talking about the food I was preparing for the birthday party on a budget again. And today's video is going to be all about the entertainment. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Agnes at mumcandoit.com, a blog to inspire mums to reach their potentials. I would love you to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the little bell to notify you when a new video comes up. And you can hire the entertainment for the children, but it does cost a lot of money. Now, my friend has happened to have a friend who has previously run an entertainment company and we've managed to hire a bouncy castle at really a fraction of the price because he no longer does the business, but he still hires his bouncy castle to a friend's who sometimes call out because they still remember him running it in the past and he's got it in his garage, he just brought it over and for really a fraction of a price we've had a bouncy castle and that was a hit for the children, they loved it. They've had it from about 11 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock in the evening and I promise you maybe twice they got off it actually to join the games but other than that the bouncy castle was occupied all the time. So that was a hit with the children. Now if you don't have a space for bouncy castle that's not to worry, I've got another games for you just so that you can use in case you did not want to hire an entertainment and if you are planning to do it on the budget, I recommend you do it yourself. I mean, there is a hundreds of games that you can get children to play with you and also, depending on how big of a crowd you have and also the age of the children, this one is tailored specifically for the age group of probably four to about 11. My daughter is 11 and she enjoyed playing the games and the youngest of the children joining the party was my little son which was three years old and you will see in a minute that some of the games were a little bit too big for him he doesn't he didn't quite understand the rules of it so he was playing on his own terms but he still had fun and that's all that matters right so yes let me jump into it so i've got a list of the party games that i have had gone through and i'll be showing you little clips while i talk to you about those games and I hope you really find find it helpful and enjoy it and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below what are your favorite games are you also entertaining your children by yourself or if not what kind of entertainment do you like providing for the children the children are able to entertain themselves but it is nice to have some kind of games to just leave them remembering those moments really and take some pictures or videos if you liked. So here you go. Let me just take you through the games that I have proposed for children. So the first one will be maybe not a game but a lot of people like to do a face painting for the children. Now instead of the face painting I came out with an idea of tattoos. So you can get really cheap tattoos and I will link in the description below a tattoos that I actually got for my birthday party. They were not expensive. I think the girls' tattoos costed me about seven pounds and the boys' tattoos must have been about five pounds. But again, I will list that in the description below. So I have had a tattoos for the girls specifically. We've had like a nice sparkly, silvery and glittery um, tattoos, which I actually managed to get one done myself. And the adults enjoyed it as well, I can promise you that. And also for the boys, we've had uh, loads of different tiny tattoos that they could stick all over their bodies if they wanted to. So some of them had it done on the hands, some of them had it done on their legs. We were so lucky to have a beautiful weather that everyone was just in the like a summer wear. So the arms and the legs were exposed so they could just tattoo themselves all over really. So the children kept on playing on the bouncy castle pretty much from the first moment that I walked in till about an hour and a half into the party and then I started the games because I was so busy also preparing everything else that I really could not entertain them straight away but I wanted them to sort of get to know each other, let everybody come in because some people you might consider, some people do turn up a little bit later so I wanted everyone to be already in the party to make sure that we start the games. So the next game that I did for the children was the game called Pass the Parcel. And you might have seen in the video below, which I'm linking here, or here, that um, I have prepared a pass the parcel game in advance. So I have had bought a dinosaur egg that I've wrapped around the tissues bought from Poundland. 
and it was really inexpensive because the egg I think costed me about one pound ninety if I remember that right and the wrapping paper I bought two sets so that I could wrap it and wrap it and wrap it so it's more interesting and again goes on for a little bit longer than just like three or set, four sets of wrappers <laughs> probably have seen in the video previously was sack race so there was only four sacks in the actual box but that was enough for four children of the same age to take part in the competition so we've done that I think about two or three times that the smaller children first taken part and then the big children so that is sort of you know fair for them so they had raced uh, from point A to the finishing line and they loved it as well. And you will see that my little one was just not getting the game right and we had to help him out a little, but it was fun and everyone enjoyed it. The next game that I had done was sorting the M&Ms. I bought two packs of M&Ms. You need a paper plate and also you need straws for that. So with the straws, the children need to pick up by by trying to suck the M&M and hold it by the straw and put that M&M inside little plastic cups. And normally the game supposed to be sorting the M&Ms by the color, but because first of all, it's really windy and my cups were flying everywhere. And second thing, because there were also very little children playing that game, they didn't quite understand it. So I just said, why don't you juice whatever's on your plate, whoever empties those M&Ms on their plate and put them first inside the cup, wins the game and just give them a little prize at the end of the game. The next game I've had prepared for them was a musical statues. So for that one, I could not connect my phone into a speaker. It kept on failing on me and I could not connect it. So I've invited everyone inside my living room. I put the music out, I played YouTube and I had been posting the video once every so often. Everyone knows musical statues. You basically freeze when the music stops and whoever manages to move or you know, moves their body while the music stopped is out and the last person standing wins the game so children really like this game because what i did also in the middle was i proposed for the children not just to dance around but to do funny dance so like ants in my pants dance and wriggle my toes dance and snaky dance so they had to come up with the different ideas of the dances as well in between which was very fun and they enjoyed it and at the end of the party I had also prepared a goodie bags for them. I did not put too many things in there. Back in my country, no one does party bags. And I really do like that tradition that, you know, the guests come over and they give you a present and at the end of the party, you give them something back, which is really nice. So I did prepare a little bit of the party bags, but I didn't put too much in there because if you think about it, there is already so much you have to do for the party that I've only put a few items. So here is what I put inside my bags. So we've got 28 bags here. We're expecting only 22 children maximum. And in each bag we have, um, I don't know what you actually call them. It's like a mini game thing. A balloon in each, some of the sweets, blowers, party blowers, and a chupa chups. So that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. I mean, kids are such a joy to entertain and they're very easy to entertain. Even if you don't have many games, they would still like it. There is obviously a very popular piñata that you could play. But again, it does cost a little bit of money. So I wanted to do it something. I wanted to do something that I could come up with 
without crushing the budget because I did have quite a few people and the party did cost me quite a lot of money overall so I really wanted to keep the costs to the minimum but it can be done and you really don't have to spend a lot of money on entertaining the children or hire anyone to entertain the children because they just go with the flow. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to notify you when the video comes up. And also down below in the description you will find a whole birthday party planner for you to download. So don't forget to head over to my website to download it for yourself. Thank you so much and see you soon.